Hello everyone, this is Kyle, and welcome back to Dark 30 Outdoors. Again, if you're new here on my channel, it's dedicated to bringing you outdoors tips, techniques, strategies. So if you enjoy things like hunting and fishing, camping, boating, kayaking, all those good things. And definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well. That way you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Today, I'm just going to do a... A quick one. I know that a lot of you are out there make excuses. You make excuses because you don't want to do what you need to do. Things like preparation for upcoming seasons. Maybe you don't want to go through your gear. Uh, maybe you don't want to make modifications to your kayak. Maybe you don't want to get your boat ready. You know there's things that need to be done. Changing the lower unit oil. Uh, changing the uh, lube in the hubs. Lots of things that need to be done. General maintenance. You need to get on it. And if you're like me, you wake up on a Saturday morning and you say, gosh, it's 30 degrees out. I'm not going out and working in the garage. I'm not going to go outside and work. I just don't want to. I don't want to deal with the cold. So that's one of the excuses we make. It's too cold. Today, I'm going to take that excuse away. And I'm going to do a quick review on the Mr. Buddy heater. Slap a couple of pro tent pain tanks onto this baby. And it's got the two different panels and this will heat up your garage. Trust me, with this, you will be able to work in your garage. It'll warm it up nicely. I know a lot of guys that ice fish and they use these. Also, I know there's hunters that use these in their deer blind. And that's, that's great for that too. So today I'm gonna talk about this heater buddy. It's really excellent for a temporary heating up of a small space. Where these really shine is deer blinds, ice shanties, and your garage. Uh, they're not gonna hit your house. It's not good for that. Uh, if you go ice fishing without shanty, and you're just gonna be out there on a bucket, this isn't really gonna help you a whole lot, especially if it's at all breezy or windy. Not gonna help you at all. I don't think I would take it to a kid's uh, sporting event, football game, soccer game, that sort of thing. It's it's cold, but you're kind of out in it. Uh, also, don't pack this into a compact tent. I think you're gonna be safe. It'll probably light your bones on fire. You don't wanna do that, safety first. Okay, so let's get into it. Rather than move the camera, I'm just gonna tilt it down. You can see this knob here. It's got uh, off, pilot, low, medium, and high. Now for those uh, settings, medium and high, you have to have both propane canisters attached. And the low setting, it'll only light the one panel, so you would only need the one propane tank attached. When you turn this on, you're gonna push this red button at the top down and hold it for 30 to 60 seconds and let that propane cycle through to the igniter. After you hold it for 30 or 60 seconds, then you will move it over to the pilot. And you let go of it, and you hear it uh, snap and spark. Again, gonna hold it for 30 seconds, slide it over, and you, I don't know if you were able to see that little flickering blue flame. It, 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 it lit for a second. I burned up these tanks. It's not gonna light right now because yesterday it was really cold out and I needed to work on the boat. So I slapped a couple of tanks on and I warmed up the garage. I burned them up. So it doesn't have any fuel right. It worked like a charm. It heated up my garage and I was able to work on the boat all day. Um, installed a new trolling motor. I got a power drive V2 with iPilot. I'm super excited about that. I installed a net holder for when I'm musky fishing, especially if I'm solo. I can uh, have to stick the net in a holder while the bag is over the side and, and not worry about the net going in. What else did I do? I pulled some styrofoam out of the bulkhead and made it a storage unit for uh, life jackets, a toolbox, and some other things. So that was fun. It was a big project. It was a lot of work. And this made it warm out so that I could work out there early in the morning, even when it was super cold out. So do yourself a favor. Get a heater buddy. I've seen them at Walmart for like 70 bucks. Uh, this is the double unit. They're a little bit more expensive. I saw it on Amazon for $130. Uh, I will put a link down in the description, and that's an affiliate link. There is a small commission. I sure ain't getting rich on this stuff, but it, it support, helps support the channel. I really, really appreciate any support you're willing to offer, and uh, this is going to come in handy. You're definitely going to be able to use it. 
heating small spaces, again, not a tent. And it takes away that excuse of it's too cold to work on my boat or modifications to my kayak or working on the truck or fixing your wife's car. You know, eliminating those excuses. So if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I welcome any feedback and I hope you all have a great day.